Welcome to Harold and Maryland Blogs. Um, I am going to show y'all today. I'm going to show y'all how to do a design in Canva for for a T-shirt. So I'm gonna go on my browser and then. I'm going to open up Canva, so you can go to canva.com and so I have some designs here that you can uh, that you can do. Um, I have this one that I designed. I designed this one a couple days ago now this is how it came right here <clears throat> so this is how it came um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna lift it up now the background you can just click on it and then right here is the color and then you can pick any color you want <clears throat> I'm gonna go with the dark gray and then we're gonna go to text that way you can add your own oops you can add your own um, words to it also So here, I'm going to add my own. I accidentally pressed the, the mouse pad. This is a new computer, so I'm still trying to get used to it. Alright, so we're going to, there we go, make it bigger. I'm going to add our own. So basically, um, if you don't like the font, you just go here. Here's going to be your fonts, your size, your color, bold, and you can have a fix had different type of effects so there you go now let's go to font I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with this font uh, you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go a little bit lower right there <clears throat> um, everything else I'm gonna keep it how it is it's just a quick um, example um, on Canva you also have where here you can go where you can print your own shirt or if you scroll down just click the three little dots right here with the square and it has shirts business cards posters canvases flyers gift certificates infographics um, you also have coffee mugs postcards you can also do stickers I thought it was pretty cool circle oval square rectangle so for this video um, since it's a shirt it gives you here here is gonna give you a um, uh, what do you call it gonna give you a preview it gives you here a preview of how your shirt will look with that design so one side both sides and then you can do men women or toddlers it also has a toddler or a youth um, so, but let's say, let's say that for the back you want, you want something else. 
let's say in the back you want a different design so page one like it says here it'll be the front and page two will be the back um, here you can change the color of the shirt so you can do white black gray charcoal obviously there I'll have to change the the lettering and all that that way I can see it um, <clears throat> but let's say let's say that I don't want the design in the back so what I'll do I'll go in here oh this is from something else <laughs> let me erase that <clears throat> so let's say I don't want that in the back I'm going to delete and then I'll go here add page and then here um, here I can um, add anything <clears throat> anything I want either it can be another design or Or let's say I want I want to put a name. Let's say I want to put my fiance's. Oh, let's say I want to put my fiance's name here and make it bigger that way. I don't have any problems. So um, last name and then first name. Now I'm going to have to make the font smaller, obviously. It's too big. I'm still going to go smaller. You can do that or you can just drag it. Drag it would be the best way. Here it kind of gives you the it gives you the border where where the printout will go. So if the words if the words cross that purple line, it's not gonna be it's gonna cut it off basically. So you see the middle line, the middle purple line there is gonna be right in the middle. So you're good right there. Um Right here, I see that it's not it's not a line. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make it smaller. There you go. Um. Now the space here, I don't like, so I'm gonna go to elements. I'm gonna add. Um. I'm gonna add an element real quick. Let's see what we can do. <clears throat> Let's try some hearts. Let's see what kind of heart I like. Oh, this is pretty cool right here. <clears throat> this is a heart and it has two arrows going. I'm going to change the color because I can't see it. Mm. Hmm. I like the red, but it's not too visible. I like yellow for this one. So I'll go with yellow. And then if you want, you can also change the the not the font well you can't change the font but if you want to change the color on those this one is a this one has like a little border so you could change the border make it stand out uh, white's pretty good and the border here yellow makes it stand out too All right, so I'm gonna go both sides. Now you see here, 
now you see here that um, where to go? This this will be the front and this will be the back. And then you just put quantity. You pick the size small, and it'll tell you your total right here. So once you pick the total, you continue, and then you add the address and all that. Um, and if you were to, um, for example, if you wanted a coffee mug, you go to mugs, you go to resize design, and it's going to resize your design. And it's going to tell you one side and back. So the front will say, uh, you had me at Raymond. And the back will say the name, or if you want to put a picture, a picture will work too. Um, for mugs, it's 1750. So that's pretty expensive. Um, but that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if I helped you in any way, or if you find this video helpful to you. It's a way to get business cards for your. For your business also like I said if you go here to the three designs it gives you more options you can have posters gift certificates flyers business cards letterheads postcards tags and even stickers like if you want a sticker for your car bumper sticker so it all helps um, like and subscribe and uh, there's some stuff in the description uh, if you don't have Webull, you can uh, download Webull and start investing now. Um, that will help out the channel. And that's it. We'll be back with more videos. Thank you.